hello lovely viewers today in this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to do two things number one is to find EC anything and number two is to find IC anything often after a drug assay on any cell line we want to estimate the concentration of our compound we need to achieve a certain level of response for instance we might want to find the concentration of the compound required to achieve 50 percent response or instead of 50 it could be 90 or it could be 80 or it could be 10 or it could be 20 it could be virtually anything the grappad prism comes with a cool set of functions to help us achieve this so how do we do this the first thing you want to do is get your data into grappad prism so over here I've already pasted my data into Grapad Prism. So the next thing you want to do is make sure that you've selected your data sheet and hit analyze. Now the next thing you want to do is select transform and hit OK. Now check this box and make sure x equals log x is selected. Hit OK. Now immediately Grapad Prism returns a new data sheet with your log transform x values. Now next, make sure that this same data sheet is selected and hit analyze. Now you want to select nonlinear regression and hit OK. Now next, under dose response special, we will select log agonist versus response, find easy anything hit OK. Now immediately Graphite Prism will pop up a dialog box which says we need to enter an F constant value. Just hit OK. Now in this dialog box we need to enter the F constant value. Now to find EC90 when our F value has to be 90. When we are looking for EC10 our F value is 10. When looking for EC70, our F value becomes 70. So first of all, we'll start with EC90 for this example and hit OK. Immediately, Grapad Prism returns our results. So as we already know, our F value is 90 and this is the value we are looking for. This is the concentration at which our compound will give us 90% response so if if we want to change this value we could simply click this which will take us back to the dialog and could change it to anything for instance 25 and hit OK and it gives us the value okay so then next we want to look at what to do when dealing with an inhibitor. Now before I go ahead I want to do a short explanation. Remember that for an agonist when we want to find EC90 F is equal to 90. However for an inhibitor to find IC90 you enter an F value of 10. Why is this so? Because with an inhibitor after 90% of inhibition we have just 10% of the response remaining similarly after about 10% inhibition you have 90% remaining so then for IC 10 our F value becomes 90 so whenever you want we're working with inhibitors just subtract the, the response you want from 100 and that will give you the F value so for instance if I want to find IC 25 I'll do 100 minus 25 and enter an F value of 75 I'm going to go ahead and do it so select your data sheet and like we did before go to analyze and we are going to transform the x-axis values like we did before so check this box make sure x equals log x is selected and hit OK 
now we get the transformed values make sure I select it again hit analyze go to nonlinear regression and then because we've already used this formula before we find it under recently used so just select it and hit OK now hit OK and we want to enter the F constant value so then now for this example we want to find let's say IC 90 so we'll enter 90 now when we enter 90 then the result we are going to get is the actual IC 10 like I explained before so then again when we want to find IC 10 sorry when we want to find IC 90 we enter 10 so remember to figure out what a value to use for inhibitors subtract the degree of response you want say 90 from 100 so then when we want to find IC 90 then our F value should be 100 minus 90 which is 10 when we want to find IC 25 then the F value we need is 100 minus 25 which